It is estimated that there are between 50 billion and 430 billion wild birds on Earth, but only four species, four species, have an estimated world population of over 1 billion. In the fourth place, with a population of 1.1 billion, we have barn swallow. This bird normally nests in man-made structures and consequently has spread with human expansion. In the third place, with a population of 1.2 billion, we have ring-billed gull. I have not seen this bird, so here's a photo I found on Pixabay. It has a yellow bill with a dark ring, thus the common name. In the second place, with a population of 1.3 billion, we have European starling. This species is omnivorous, taking a wide range of invertebrates as well as seeds and fruit, so they are not picky eaters and they are very social birds. Have you heard about the murmuration? It's when a large group of birds, usually starlings, all fly together and change directions together. I have seen it a couple of times and it is amazing. And in the first place, with a population of about 1.6 billion, we have house sparrow. The house sparrow is strongly associated with human habitation and can live in urban or rural settings. The house sparrow feeds at home and public bird feeding stations, but naturally feeds on the seeds of grains, flowering plants and weeds. This study only looked at wild birds, so in the first place we have the house sparrow with 1.6 billion individuals, but for comparison, the estimated world population of domestic chickens is somewhere around 25 billion, making them the most abundant bird by far. It is very hard to try and figure out how many birds there are in the world, but it is clear that the numbers are declining. One 2019 paper calculated that the total population of breeding adult birds in North America has declined by 3 billion since 1970. Other study finds approximately 48% of existing bird species worldwide are known or suspected to be undergoing population decline. Loss and degradation of natural habitats and direct overexploitation of many species are cited as the key threats to avian biodiversity. The things we can do is protect and restore natural habitats such as forests, wetlands, grasslands and coastal areas that are crucial for bird populations. Manage and control invasive species that can harm native bird populations and their habitats. Minimize pollution in air and water which can harm birds through contamination of their food sources and habitats. Protect breeding sites. Plant native vegetation in your garden to provide food and shelter for local birds. Participate in citizen science programs and report your bird sightings, which can contribute to bird conservation efforts. And so much more. So let's help our feathery friends. Happy naturing and see you later!